The Arctic just came home with a terrible report card. If you were its parent, what would you do? NOAA, the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, has studied the Arctic for over 30 years, measuring sea ice. The amount, age, and thickness of the ice all contribute to the Arctic report card. And, well, frankly, the Arctic is coming up short. This was its third worst grade in 30 years. Why the poor performance? No surprise, warmer air temperatures in the region. Warmer weather not only causes the polar ice cap to melt, it also affects the Arctic landscape. Melting permafrost, increasing forest fires, and causing glaciers to lose mass. While the lack of ice has been terrible for wildlife, shipping companies have actually benefited. A new shipping lane recently opened for business, which potentially means even worse grades in the future, according to new research. And remember, bad grades hurt everybody. Warmer sea temperatures in the Arctic in the summer release heat into the atmosphere in the fall, weakening the winds that circle the North Pole. The cold Arctic air can then head southward, causing colder winters, as millions of people experienced in the eastern U.S. and northern Europe last year. So what to do about the errant Arctic? Parents often sound like a broken record, but listen anyway. Do your part to help cut emissions. And if you won't listen to your parents, take it from smart Stanford researchers. Controlling uh, fossil fuel and biofuel soot is possibly the only method of preventing the runaway loss of the Arctic ice.